this video, I will um, migrate this Blocklytics Ethereum blocks subgraph from the hosted service to the decentralized graph network. Um, in order to do that, I have prepared a, a multisig. Um, it's filled with 15,000 GRTs. And um, yeah, so let's get it started. So we go to the graph.com slash studio. And first, um, we connect with the wallet. Here you can select a Gnosis multisig and then you need to select the network and paste the multisig address in. This um, easiest is to copy paste from here um, and just paste that address here. So it's a valid multisig, so let's go. So the next step is to connect my EOA or my kind of, I use MetaMask um, to the studio so, so that we can interact with it. Um, to do so, uh, there will be a signature request um, with, with the EOA that controls that multisig and I have to sign a message on my ledger. All right, now as a first time user, um, I add, add my email address, so like if the billing balance is, is low or there are any other issues, there's a way that we, um, that Azure node can, can touch with you. All right, so let's continue here. Um, so the first step is to create the subgraph, so I click here, say which is the indexed chain, I choose Ethereum mainnet, and then I, I say block lytics Ethereum blocks. All right, let's continue. Now we see this um, interface here where I can edit the metadata. So let's up, upload the in an image. Um, I already downloaded it for us. So I can use that one. And uh, get the description, also the GitHub, and um, yeah, I'm going to get some categories here, probably infrastructure. All right, let's try again with the image. Beautiful, nice. So that's not very complicated. Um, we can, could later change this, um, but since the block lytics by itself doesn't have a URL, I keep this blank. Now the next step is simply to just uh, authenticate my CLI. So I can copy this command, go to my CLI, and here I already checked out this repo, and uh, do this command: graph our auth studio. And now the deploy key is set. And then the next step is simply just directly um, to this graph code chain and graph build um, so that we know uh, the subgraph compiles locally. And this is building, so this works without any problem. Then um, I, I get the deploy subgraph command. Again, um, I already have it here. and then just copy paste it over, give it a label. We go with the default, it's, my, it's the first deployment. So yeah, let's do this. Now it is um, deployed to the studio, but it's not yet published on the decentralized network. So we see here um, already this um, is indexed on the hosted service that is powering the Subgraph Studio, um, because there is already a copy of that subgraph, so that no need to re-index from scratch. Um, but for your subgraphs, it might take a while to, to index it, depending um, if there is already uh, this one deployed or not. 
Now the next step is to just publish it to the network so that the descent the indexes on the decentralized network see it. So I click here on publish. Select <coughs> Ethereum mainnet and also I, I need to be the first to signal on the subgraph. Here if you do not have this 15k GRT already by yourself then you can uh, apply for a grant for, for the Graph Foundation so that you ha can um, have this money to publish the signal. It's important that you be the first that publish uh, that signals. So we recommend to signal 10,000 GRTs. Now, uh, that's the first step. I need to allow the GRT access. So I click here and this actually um, now signs a message that is sent to the Gnosis Multisig. So I can sign this and send a message. And I can, can go back to the Gnosis safe, go into transactions and see that there is one in the queue that I need to execute. All right, so I see here that I need to approve um, the spending of the GRTs so that the graph network contract can spend my GRTs. All right, gas is very low today. That's good. So I just execute it now. Um, Let's increase it a bit, just to be sure. All right. Now again, I need to confirm that on my uh, ledger, what I usually do is like, I do check multi six need to go to the same address as here. So I check if this is really going to that address, but this looks good. So I accept and send. Now we can wait until this transaction is, is through. Here on Etherscan, we see it again. And um, we can also check what gas price did we use. Right, so we use 5.9. All right, so this is done. Now the next step here would be um, to actually publish and signal after uh, the GRT is allowed. And so I need to refresh so the, the front end actually sees this. Re-add all my information and now I'm ready. I can publish and signal to the decentralized network. Let's do this. I click here and same procedure as before. The MetaMask pop-up um, will first come and I just need to sign that um, transaction for the multisig. And now here we see like the, we can click on this view transaction in Gnosis Safe. So by clicking on it uh, directly are directed to the queue where I should see that transaction. Yeah, after a refresh, it's here. Um, well, let's, let's try again. All right, so there is a it's a known bug with Gnosis Safe that sometimes the, um, the estimation of the gas limit is wrong. So what I just do here is increase it 
to 1 million and also let's have it a little bit higher here so I actually can send this see this so you see this transaction will roughly be 200 US dollars now let's wait for it to be mined all right now we see the transaction is mined um, that 1000 10,000 GRT going actually in that subgraph and also 10 uh, 100 are burned as the as the tax and um, the multisig received these curation shares all right now we can go here and actually refresh and then we see that this subgraph is now published to the ethereum mainnet you can click here and see it on the decentralized graph explorer and um, yeah it's now published and what i usually do is also quickly go to the discord here is an indexer channel and then i just tell them like new subgraph deploy it Centralize network with white glowing. So they know and can and uh, they know that it's one of ours. And um, if they have questions, they also know know who have, has deployed it. And uh, yeah, now we can just wait until the first indexes have picked up. Thank you so much and have fun on the decentralized network.